All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. This is a long overdue, very requested video that we've gotten. Um, we've been crazy busy trying to get ready for our trip, but uh, I set some time aside this evening to make this video. Hopefully, this helps you out. Um, I do want to start off by saying that I am by no means a professional when it comes to the navigation stuff, but um, I know my way around the app enough to uh, to know how it works. So hopefully that's what we can cover in today's video. Um, as you know, or some of you may know, that we started selling uh, navigation tablets on our website, thecanamcrew.com. If you're interested, you can check them out on there. We have over 40 different trail systems. Uh, and we download a satellite view, which is something that uh, you don't really see um, any other tablet cells uh, doing. So I have this GoPro here that I'll kick on and uh, I'll be able to get you guys a, a close up of the tablet. And we'll run through some of the some of the steps and, and kind of get you an idea on how to use it, hopefully. And uh, go ahead and kick this on here. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. I have mine locked. I like for this to open here. So right here you're going to want to, when you get your tablet, it'll basically be um, the Backcountry Navigator app will be the like the only app up here. I have a bunch of different ones, but when you get your tablet from us, you'll click on this Backcountry Navigator Pro app. And right away it'll bring up whatever was downloaded last. So up here in the top right hand corner you'll see it says trip data this is where all your maps are going to be stored so go ahead and click on that and then it'll say click to change you know click on that now this is where all of your maps are going to be stored this is where you'll find so say you want to say you want to ride um, let's just scroll down here and pick top trails in Alabama You'll go ahead and click on that one. That will bring up the top trails in Alabama. So you want to go somewhere else. Click on trip data. Click to change. And these are all your maps. We'll go to uh, eastern Kentucky, Tennessee. This is Pickett. Right here are all the, uh, the maps for Windrock and Brimstone. Sunquist, Royal Blue, Tackett. Uh, there's also Black Mountain and Wildcat in this one. So you can use your fingers to scroll or you can use this plus and minus to scroll in and out. Either way is fine. You can see everything's color coded. Subject to change, of course. Cool. Now that you know how to open the map and get to the maps and say you're sitting at Rod Roa Blue Resort right here. You want to, sorry, this isn't downloaded. Yours will be downloaded, mine is not. You're sitting at Rod Roa Blue Resort, getting ready to ride. What you're going to want to do is this little bullseye button, you'll hit that, and that will set your GPS location. So whenever you push that button, it enables the GPS, and then it'll find you. And wherever you're at, it'll have like a little triangle, a colored triangle with a circle around it. That is what will follow you around these trails so you can see where you're at. Now say you want to track your ride, and what track your ride does is that that will draw a colored line behind you. I have it set to teal because it, it just stands out from all the other trails. If you tracked in blue and you went over a blue trail, then you probably wouldn't be able to see your track. So I track in teal. And what you're going to want to do is we'll come down here. You're going to want to hit location and then record a track. This will come up. You can name it whatever you want. Say the date that you, you know, you're riding or whatever. Or if you want a certain, if you're going to track from Rod Roll Blue to the top of the mountain. You can name that here. And then you hit start recording. Now, when you start driving, riding your side by side or ATV or whatever you have, it will draw a teal colored line behind you. So when you get down into this section, you'll be able to see the track. In case you get lost or need to find your way back, you'll be able to see an easy way. To stop, you know, when your day is done and you want to finish, you'll go back to location 
and you'll hit stop recording. That's it. It's that simple. That's all you have to do. Um, and that pretty much, that allows you to open up the app and that allows you to set your GPS and that allows you to track your ride. That's probably the three main things that, that you'll need to know. Um, if you want to get into it a little bit more, we can go here to map layers, more map sources. And these are all the different backgrounds that you can download while connected to Wi-Fi. So some of them are uh, USA. You can get topo maps. You go here. These are all the different topographical maps that you can get. We'll go up here. We'll choose, let's just say, we'll try this one. At current map center. You'll click that. And then it'll switch there. So if you prefer this type of background, sometimes uh, people think it's a little bit easier to see the trails. So what you'll do is uh, we'll zoom up here. Royal Blue Resort, the Mexican restaurant, really good. While I'm here, um, you can see here's the Dragon's Back and Widowmaker here. So now that you have this, you know, you're, you're connected to Wi-Fi, you have the topo map, this is the map that you want to use when you're not on Wi-Fi. You'll go up here to map layers, and then you'll come down here to select areas for download. And this is where you'll download whether you, you know, ride in your backyard and you want to use this, or you're riding here. You'll go there, and then you'll just drag, and you draw squares around whatever you want to download. So, you know, this is the Ride Royal Blue area here. That's all you want to ride. That's all you want to download. And then you hit download. You always want to do the highest zoom so you can get as close as you can. Begin download. And proceed. And it takes a second to download here. Once it's downloaded, it's downloaded forever. You can use it whenever you want. Um, we'll show you here in a second as soon as this is done. All right, so now it's downloaded. So if you disconnect from Wi-Fi, just like you would be out in the woods, if I can get it here. I'm struggling. Okay, turn the Wi-Fi off. So now you don't have Wi-Fi. You can see the only area that is downloaded is what I downloaded when I was on Wi-Fi. So now you're good to use it without Wi-Fi. It's that simple. So you come over here to an area that isn't downloaded. You'll still be able to see the trails here. Take you up here. So you can still see the trails. It's not going to hurt anything, but it won't have the background that you downloaded. So that's what we do when you get when you get our tablets. We have the the satellite imagery background. We go through and we download every trail system. That way you have it when you get it. You're done. You're ready to use. You can change it if you want to. So we'll run through that again. You go to map layers. Select areas for download. Draw a square over whatever you want to download. You can hit scroll. You can you can move around. You know, you can download. Whoop, I don't want to download. You can download this entire area. And then you hit download. And you're ready to rock and roll. So that is how you use that. We'll go back in here, we'll go to, let's say, West Virginia, we'll go back to the original, which is the satellite view, this is what you guys will have, this is what I use myself, so here's Bear Wallow. So now that's, you know how to get in, you know how to see your maps, you know how to change your background, you know how to track your location. Now I'll show you a little bit of the settings that you can use. Um, actually, I'm going to go to something a little bit simpler like uh, Rock Run here. It's not doesn't have as many tracks on it. So this is a map I built myself. So let's go up here to these three little dots is the settings. Right here are the settings. So this is your display options. Anything that you need to change, you can do here. 
if you're if you have a tablet it already comes i already get in here and change the settings to exactly what i run but there's a it says keep screen on this isn't marked it's not checked off from from when you buy the buy the tablet from the factory or whatever so i always get in there and do that so your screen doesn't shut off while you're while you're tracking because that can be kind of annoying so those those are the settings you can also go to these top three lines and go to list tracks and waypoints so we'll do that now and that will show you all the tracks and all the waypoints on the map that you're on right now so you go to tracks these are all the tracks so this is like a tracked ride i have it turned off so i don't see it and i'll show you that now but when you track a ride and you're done for the day it will log it in here you can come in here and delete it you can keep it you can check it so it doesn't show on your map but we'll look at the map now so you can see that this says if, i'm not sure if you can see that or not but this says rhino path this green trail in here is says rhino this one here says grizzly we'll go up here to say this says gobbler ridge now i'll show you something in the settings that uh, if you're riding somewhere and maybe the trail is closed or it's down for maintenance and you want to take it off your map what you'll do is you'll go to the settings list tracks or waypoints tracks and you'll scroll down gobbler ridge you can hit that check mark now when you go back to the map it's gone it's no longer on your map it was here now it's not so we can go back into it go down find it it's in alphabetical order you can turn it back on so say uh say you're riding gobbler ridge um it's marked blue on the map maybe we've got some heavy rain uh the weather's been bad and you think it should be a you know a red trail reds for extreme you just click on it come up here to color click on red okay you go back now the gobbler ridge trail is red so it's it's easy to change it's easy to manipulate you can track your own ride so if, you know if you're riding up here you know behind your house and you think the trail is green you can track it and then go to your track and change the color to green so we'll go back in here tracks scroll down to gobblers ridge right here change the color to blue and you're good so right here you can also see that it tells you how many miles the trail is if you're interested in seeing that so you go into here to Coyote Pass, you can see it's 1.3 miles. Uh, you go to Blue Pipe, it's 2.7 miles. So you can use that to, to try, try to track your ride and, and um, make routes. You know, if you're figuring out how long it's going to take you to get from one point to the next, you can go in here and look at each individual trail. You can change it, manipulate it, you can change the colors. Same with the waypoints. Here are the waypoints here. Speaking of waypoints, I'll show you how to how to make a waypoint. So when you're not tracking your ride, it might be hard to see, but there's a little tiny plus sign right there. It's dead center of the tablet. So you'll hover that plus over, um, let's see where the mud pit is here. You can kind of see that plus right there. So what you'll do is wherever you want to put the waypoint, you'll put that plus there. Let's say that there's a waterfall right here. So, down here in the bottom right, you'll see a little waypoint symbol. You'll hit that, and this will come up. You'll hit mark, and this takes you to the waypoint name. Let's say you want to name it Waterfall. And then you click on this little icon here, and these are all your waypoints. Just scroll down there in alphabetical order. This says Waterfall. Click on that backspace or sorry save it oh I got rid of my waterfall okay 
save. Now you can, oh, darn it. It's making me a liar. Scroll down to this one. Name it. Waterfall. Save. I don't know why it's not saving it. There we go. It is. So now it says waterfall. So that's how you create a waypoint. Usually easier than what I just tried to show you. <laughs> it wasn't cooperating. But uh, it's it's very simple. You can get you can get back in here to your settings. Sorry, not your settings. Your um, tracks and waypoints here. You go to the waterfall, which is right here. You're going to hold on that until it highlights, and then delete. Okay. So now it's no longer there. So that is how you set waypoints. That is basically the gist of how to use this app um, trying to think if there's anything else it's pretty straightforward um, you know how to change the colors you know how to track your ride you know how to look at different maps you know how to change the backgrounds um, I don't know that there's really much else that I can show you that you actually really need to know on the trail um, so hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this helps answer some questions that uh, that I get, which I don't I don't mind the questions at all. Keep them coming. Um, I enjoy helping you out and talking to you guys. So but this helps uh, making this video reaches a, a bigger audience than than just in my messages and stuff. So hopefully this helps you out if you're looking for it. We'll run through it here real quick again. You go to trip data. Click the change. This is where all your maps are. So if you want to go to Rush Off Road, you go to Rush Off Road, which I have it separated. So you're going to go into one of your West Virginia maps. Rush is in the West Virginia map, just if you're wondering. You go there. You can hit location, record a track, come down here. Touch that little bullseye looking button there that will find your that sets your GPS. That's probably the most important thing getting into the map, finding the map, and then pushing that button. That button enables your GPS so it'll find you, and then you can track your ride from there. That is pretty much it. I mean, that, that's basically all I know how to do. Um, I know how to get in there, find the maps. I know how to to load the maps which is a whole different process and it is kind of complicated and probably for another video but I wanted this video to be just straightforward how to use the app when you get our tablet from us you order it on our website we have uh, two different sizes the smaller one which is a 32 gig and then we have the 10.5 32 gig and we have the 10.5 64 gig so there's a couple different options. I use the 32 gig myself. 64 gig is if you uh, want to add music, you want to add different apps, you want to add different maps, um, things like that. You know, that would take up more storage. Take pictures or videos from it. You can use it as a regular tablet. Um, you can, you know, use it at home, take it on vacations, whatever you need to. It's it's not just a navigation tablet it's it's a regular tablet that just has a navigation app on it which is uh some of the questions that i've got too so but i hope this helps if you're looking for one check out our website the canamcrew.com it's under the shop we have them on there you can get yourself one and uh that's pretty much it let me know if this answers some of your questions hopefully it does if not, let me know, and we will try to make another video on whatever else that you have a question about. So, until next time, again, thank you. Huge thank you to you guys for watching the videos, our channel members, our sponsors, our patrons. All you guys are, you know, it's just, I can't thank you enough. Everyone that's buying our tablets and our, our merch off of our website, you guys are, are a huge help. You're making our... Uh, our big trip coming up, our 7,000 mile cross country trip, you're making that possible for us. 
uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without you. So again, thank you to you guys and uh, keep watching. You'll see another video in a couple of days and we'll see you on that one.